August 13th, 2012. It's about 11.40. Temperature in here is... Oh, heck, we're at 78 degrees there. Kind of a cloudy day outside. Shouldn't have to run the fan today. Um, tomatoes. Definitely doing well. You know, this guy's gotten taller. He keeps looking like he wants to die, but the top of the plant's looking pretty decent. This guy's just kind of hanging in there. I don't know what he's doing. Um, over here in the experimental bin, the transplanted cucumbers coming back. He's starting to get some dark green on his leaves. The, uh, the bean plant stood right up. Hasn't done much, but, you know, we'll give it some time. I planted some green onions all over in here. And yeah, let me show you what they're doing already within two days. Let's see if this will focus. There's a little bit of a sprig of a leaf here coming out of that one. Here's another one. Now, those are the only two that are above ground. There's another one here I just kind of unburied, and I'm wondering if... Maybe that's the way to do it if they actually need, you know, to see the sunlight in order for them to work. Because these other ones that are completely submerged, I don't see any growth on them. So at least two of them definitely have some growth. There's a couple more I'm uncovering. I'm not seeing anything. So it seems to me that when you bury them, if you want them to start growing... You've definitely got to leave that little part hanging out in the sunlight. So, because of the two that, you know, basically are sprouting, this little guy here and this one here, I'm going to try to get the other ones exposed to light and get them reset so they're growing because that obviously works. Um, other tomatoes doing well. He's got some new growth guy in the back corner same as this other one the bottom half of him looks sick but the top one that guy actually has new growth that green pepper is starting to come up the other one's still kind of lime green the lettuces definitely I'll just slide it out take a peek they're coming up everywhere we've got little green leaves so I'm gonna let them keep going a little bit bigger than that um, and then I gotta get my cups cut to hold those hold the lettuce in the raft system seems to be you know maintaining well I, I didn't puzzle fit them just kind of overlapped them seemed to work out all right and the fish they're probably hungry here they are you still got super clean clear water I'm running this pump 24 hours a day. Haven't stopped running it yet. Just give them a piece of food here and see if they come in after it. Oh, there he goes. He's found it. Let's see if I hold on to it again. They'll eat out of my hand. Yep. <laughs> so, I'll give him a couple pellets of food here and let them go after it. It's good for them to eat these pellets. They can't really eat them. It has to digest, so they just sit there and work on it and work on it and work on it and uh, kind of eat them down into nothing or they get sucked up over the, in the overflow system if they don't get it all. But I feed them at least twice a day. I've been feeding them sometimes four, but I notice that they don't take interest in the food some days when it's four. So usually